So, leading up to 2018, we had the kooky idea over here at Hero Shot to, you know, we said, you know what, let's count down all uh, our top favorite comic book movies of all time. Uh, we all, uh, all of us individually, all of the contributors to Hero Shot uh, have, have, they all came up with their own lists and uh, I went through and, and sort of tabulated and, and averaged them all out. And uh, now for 2018, all 52 weeks of 2018, each week we plan on talking about a different movie and until we get to, to number one at the top of our list. Last week we talked about number 52, just the animated movie, Justice League Dark, um, uh, which... Uh, unfortunately, neither one of us had seen, but um, uh, Ernie and Will were both uh, extremely, extremely large, uh, high, you know, they had high praise for that movie and recommended it highly. And um, it's definitely one that I would like to check out. Oh, yeah. Um, but this week, we have uh, our 51st movie to talk about. And unfortunately, it's one that I'm, it's one that I've seen, but one that I'm not crazy about. But uh, our fifty-first movie in our best comic book movies of all time, Sin City. What's uh, Sin City? What, what did we say? Two thousand and five. Yeah. Sort of. Uh, yeah, two thousand and five. C- kind of co-directed by Frank Miller and uh, Robert Rodriguez. Who Robert Rodriguez of sort of like uh, the Rodriguez family. Um, yeah, the Robert. Yeah, exactly. Um, he did. Uh, um, what were those movies? Uh, the Spy Kids movies is what I was trying to think oh. of. Remember Spy Kids? Oh, yeah, he's done a lot. More, he's done a lot of great movies, but uh, I always think <laughs> that's of, the one that comes to mind. That was the one that I was trying to think of. Um, he is uh, one of those. Uh, uh, he's like Quentin Tarantino's like best buddy, and they've uh, I can kinda, see it. they've kind of co they've co tackled a lot of stuff, but. Man, Sin City. Uh, you had mentioned before you were like, I don't remember if I've seen that movie or not. It took me a second, but actually, I, I like the movie. I remember the, the movie. The only I so when I first saw Sin City, um, I don't think I was old enough to see it when it came out. That's but kind of that's kind I of. I saw it thinking. a couple of years later. Uh, the uh, we were fifteen. When yeah, we out. were fifteen when that movie came out. Uh, the uh, once I did finally get around to seeing it. Um, it's definitely, it's what it does well is the visuals. Yes. Dude, like that movie is something, like if you've never seen it before, just check it out for the visuals alone. The one, my one issue with the movie is my, and this is the same issue that I've kind of got with um, 300 and sort of like that era of comic book adaptations is the highly stylized like look. And I just don't know if I could go back and watch it again. I, I feel about this movie about the same way as I do with 300. I, I, I feel like there was a point in time when I really liked this movie a lot, but not really anymore. But it still is sort it's of fun. It's sort of, it, it, I mean, I guess I would check it out again, but it would, um, like I mentioned though, it is, it is it's something to look at for sure if you've never seen it before though just the the way they're sort of able to blend the live action thing with sort of like animated sequences right. and make it actually looks like a like a comic book looks like book a comic yeah that's that's what we were talking about on before the, on the screen uh it's it's definitely um Bruce Willis has hair Bruce Willis does have hair um it's this was at like the peak of Jessica Alba too like she was like oh you're right about that super for sure. like, like Sexy. This and was right around guy like I was like, man, like you know, like just foaming at the mouth, for right? It. And like now it's like, oh, okay, whatever. What were we thinking? Yeah, and After this is right around the four. Fantastic Four time. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the one thing that I thought was cool about this movie is it has the the sort of the chapters. It's got like several different chapters that take place in the movie, right. um, which reminds me of one of my favorite movies, Pulp Fiction, which kind of has that same sort of vibe to it. Um, which if um, if I'm not mistaken, the different chapters of Sin City, and then I think the follow-up Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, is they are the different actual uh, sex, the different, if you've got a graphic novel, there's several different Sin City graphic novels. Not necessarily comics, they're bigger than comics, but... Like Watchmen. Yeah, exactly. Trades, I don't know, yeah, I guess that's what you would call that. Um, 
we, we were talking about before we started the show um, or the episode. It kind of had an all star cast. Like, yeah. it wasn't like A list, but like, you know, A minus, B list stars. Like, you had Bruce Willis, Jessica Alba, Clive Owen, who I love. Clive Owen's good. Like, I really like, I like Clive Owen in almost anything. Uh, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke is like, um, I remember his ch- his story, and I remember he's like, he doesn't. He does not look no, like himself he does at not. all. And that was what they were able to do with like prosthetics and and everything like that. Like he does not look like himself. Granted, he doesn't really look like himself anymore either. If you've no, seen him, if you've seen him lately, he's let himself go. Um, Rosario Dawson. This is the first movie I can ever remember her in. Like you know, personally. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm with you on that. But also at the same time, I guess because I. I mean, I guess due to my age, I'm not exactly sure, but I, this is probably the one the movie that introduced me to Benicio del Toro. Yeah, I remember him in the movie. But I remember when he gets his head cut off and he's still he's still or he gets his necks he gets his throat slit and he's got like the big like his head is almost chopped off his body, but he's still like talking to Clive <laughs> Owen. And dude, that dude that creeped me out. But I, it's it's definitely. Uh, I remember going into this movie thinking it was about Vegas. Um, oh, yeah. the title, you know, Sin City. And yeah. I was like, I'm completely wrong about Isn't this. That, but like, and that what they call the actual place? Bay, oh, it's Basin City. So they call it Sin City. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, but no, like, I, it's fun. Like Elijah Wood playing the weird, the weird <laughs> yeah. like, cannibal yeah. dude that, Frodo. like, eats well, people. Well, and, dude, Frodo. this was, like, right after Lord of the Rings. And you got Frodo in here eating people. Uh, That's Michael, always fun. Michael Clark Duncan is in it. Yeah. Which, like, he's always... R.I.P. Exactly. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it had a really good... Like, I thought the cast was... At the time I saw it, I didn't think anything about it. And now looking back, and like when we were when I was reviewing this movie today, just kind of like, you know, going back down memory lane and like jogging my memory, I was like, man, like look at all these names and stuff, and I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, like right. you know. So, Nick Offerman is in this movie. You know, who Nick Offerman is the yeah, guy from Parks and Rec. Yeah, he's the uh, he's like a guy. he's like a uh, I don't I'll show you a picture of him. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's dude. He's got like he's got like the blonde beach bleach blonde hair and blonde goatee. Yeah. One thing about the movie that kind of like rubbed me the wrong way when I first saw it was black and white. Um, oh yeah, like yeah, but there's there's aspects of it that there are, are in color. There though. are some aspects which I was like, which oh, that's kind of neat. That's cool to see, like because the comic is the same exact way. Yeah. Which very it goes back to like. See, I remember seeing the movie before I ever like knew it was a comic. Right, right. And so then I was like, I remember like. Finding like some uh, like the strips or whatever online and be yeah. like, oh, it's, it's not a comic. And I was like, Dude, oh. yeah, and it's I don't know if it's one of those things that's like I don't think it's as shot for shot like Watchmen is, right? But it's pretty darn close, man. Um, and even going into the that idea of like most of the book is in is in black and white, but then there's certain characters and certain things like I think blood is always red. I right. Think, I think blood is red through the entire movie. But then you got like the yellow guy, which is like kind of weird, Dang, like really weird, very, <laughs> really weird. Um, this movie is 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 strange, but um, like I mentioned, yeah, for me it hasn't aged well. Uh, I feel like I've seen it a ton. I feel like I've seen it too many times, like on HBO or do you, what. Do I you don't think know. that hurt your ranking of it? Because like, does, oh, well, it, does that yeah, play I don't into even, it? I don't think this movie even made my list. To be honest with you, oh. uh, that's disappointing. Yeah. Did you ever see Red? No, I never saw Red. I had, I think I'm probably the only one that had that ranked. I don't think so. Dude, I liked Red a lot. I don't think so. Red Two was like, man, whatever. But Red, was uh, I never, I never saw Red. But um, this is definitely better than the second one, though. Oh, uh, a Dane bar to kill none. For. I remember me and Kenny went and saw the second one. Uh, you were, it was when we all lived together. Yeah, and you were like out of town or something. So me and Kenny went and saw a Dame to Kill for it, and we walked out. We were like, that might have been the worst movie I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, I still Bruce Willis is in that movie though. Yeah. He's in it. He's in it for like thirty seconds, but yeah, just like in Split. Yeah, but no. Um. Uh. I mean, I would be willing to give Sin City another shot. To I, check I it think out this again. movie, like, give it ten more years, and like people would be like, "Man, that was such a that, that was kind of a neat movie." Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, like I said, the just the highly like over stylized sort of Zack Snyder deal. 
like this and 300 the this and 300 sort of blend together for me and then there's that movie like the spirit and it's sort of all the frank miller stuff just sort of like i love 300 i i did dude there was a part of there was a point in time where I loved 300. The but, quotability of it. Yeah, it's um, true. Kind of the... Gerard butt cheeks. Yeah. Uh, and also Michael Fassbender. Oh, yeah. yeah. like that's, He is in that movie. I that, forgot about that. That's like one of the... He's the one that's like, we'll fight in the shade. <laughs> Dude, remember? He's laughing about remember it. Remember that point? Like, what, right? That was right when we were getting to that. That was like the summer when we graduated. Right, school, yeah. It was, in, it was in 2007. And like, you remember there for like two years when people were like talking about working out or whatever they'd be like i'm trying to get like 300 i'm trying to yeah. look like one of the guys from 300 <laughs> yeah. dude i never did <laughs> yeah me either <laughs> uh but it's just funny like that was and then they came out with just like just like with sin city they came out with that awful way too late sequel remember we oh, yeah. all went and saw that um rise of empire or whatever yeah 300 some, rise of empire. something like that and um i don't know i if, if you have never seen sin city before definitely check it out uh, it's, it's, it's definitely worth, uh, worth at least one viewing. Um, it's like no more, <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I'm not in a rush to see it again. Let's just say that. Um, but it's, it's in our top, top, uh, it's 51 there almost didn't make, uh, or did not make the top 50. And, uh, next week we will, uh, talk about it. We, uh, number 50. I, I couldn't tell you what it is right now because I don't have the list pulled up, but maybe that's a good thing. Um, that's we, kind of exciting to like tell. Yeah, exa- exactly. Like the, I remember I texted you today and I was like, hey, what movie were we talking about? And then you said, what did you say originally? Because it wasn't Sin City at first. And then you're like, oh, God, it's Sin City. <laughs> like, hang on. I don't remember. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, uh, I do not recall. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, Sin City. Check it out. Bruce Willis with hair. Uh, super, you said super bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. you said super bad. I believe, and I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> and I was like, I was uh, like "That's a comic movie." And, yeah. then I was, and then you said, "What did you say?" I said, "So f me, right?" <laughs> no, you said, "Dang it!" Next movie on our list is, for the podcast is Sin City. I hate that movie. <laughs> I guess Sydney. I That's was some behind the scenes for you guys. I was. I guess I was a little bit. I was a little bit brash to say that I hated it. I would watch it again, but um, I'm not in a rush to watch it again. Well, we should Let's try just... to watch these movies before we do the pod. Like, so we should. Like this so weekend, it's fresh, fresh on you, our mind. You should. Uh, you should let everybody know what it is, and then like our homework is before Wednesday. Like, if you're gonna be, if we're gonna be on the show. Um, to watch the movie. That's not a bad idea. Like so, like maybe by, by Friday, you're like, "Hey, the movie for this week is blank." So, like all of us, instead of like, don't tell the audience. Sorry, guys. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But uh, no, it's that's actually not a bad idea. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do that. Oh, I guess the Grizz one. Because that would that would be uh that would be one reason. Like I would have watched Justice League Dark. <laughs> exactly. I, I mean, yeah. I want to watch it, especially. Yeah, with like how Will and Ernie were both just like, they painted a really good picture. Exactly, I felt like. And dude, I watched, uh, I watched some uh, in, in in the little video that I posted of of what we talked about for Justice League Dark. I watched some of it on YouTube, and I was like, dude, this looks pretty good. I definitely need to check it. I out. I kept thinking about it. I hated that. I hated that the timing of what we did last week unfortunately didn't work out to afford us all the chance to watch it. Um, but we should. I definitely want to go back and check out Justice League Dark for sure. Dude, I can't wait till we get into like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you're like, hey, it's this one this week, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> I mean, even though I don't really need to watch them again, I could. They're the up there, thing. man. I mean, because I think all of us were pretty high on at least the first two. The third one didn't. I don't. No, think and that's, ended up and that's where it should stay. Man. Yeah, the third one didn't make it, but the first two are quite a, quite a bit high on. on I did on the like list. Um, how diverse our lists were. Yeah, like obviously the top movie. We all had very high, and we all know, like, all of us know what that is. Yeah. Um, but that being said, the top five is interesting, though. I thought it's not how I don't think mine. I think I was probably the one that brought some of those down. <laughs> and like Thor Ragnarok, I know like Will brought that thing down. Like it would have been higher. I felt like yeah. And so that's why, and I still, I don't know. 
Because I remember <laughs> when we saw it, we did the review in the car. Like he was like, yes. And I think I think I he is right though that he I does would, like watch it and he dude, goes and then he like kind of takes a step back and he's like, well, how good was that movie? Actually? I am totally with Will that I think very few. I own like fifteen MCU movies in in that room right across the hall that uh, I have on Blu-ray and the I couldn't tell you the last time I watched one. To be honest with you, I, I am totally, I think I have a affinity for, I think once Thor Ragnarok comes out, I, I definitely am anxious to watch that one again. But like um, Civil War, I've watched a bunch, but the other ones, dude, like I have not really watched that often. You looking at the list? Yeah, I'm just looking over some things there. I'm surprised that bad. that's as high as it is. Well, look, me, you, and Kendall, we carry that thing. Yeah. It's funny because like some of these like, if two people can carry it, they it they will. Well, no, yeah, just like uh, dude, it's funny, just like um, Justice League Dark, Justice like League Dark last week. Uh, it was not. Let me see, here it is. It was not in any of our lists. Any of us, uh, besides Ernie and uh and uh, Will, they had it both in their teens, sixteen and fourteen, and that was enough to even though, even even though that was not on any of our other list, it being so high on their list. Put it in the top 52, and it was the first one uh, we the, talked about. The reason I asked you if, if, like, the rewatchability... This is what we're talking about next week, by the way. Is... <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to watch that. Just like you guys. All right, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs>